welcome back to episode two of our primary bathroom makeover. In the first episode, we really explored inspiration, me figuring out what I wanted to transform this bathroom into without doing any major renovation, really using the shell and the pieces that we already had and just elevating it, streamlining the metals, and really creating a design that worked well with the little blue floral tiles that we have in this bathroom already. And one of the things I really wanted to do was somehow break up all the white tile in the space. I mean, it's everywhere. It was on the floors, the countertops, the backsplash, and all in the shower and I really didn't like it on the floor. So last week we actually put down a peel and stick tile mixing two different colors of two different floors that I picked up at the hardware store and it came out so well. I'm so in love with the floor for $50. We were really able to transform the way the floor feels and the overall design. Such a step in the right direction. So this week we're continuing. I had to actually order a lot of the stuff for this bathroom online. So it's kind of slowly trickling in. The major DIY project that we're gonna tackle this week is actually transforming all of the cabinetry in the space. So the cabinetry right now is painted like a dark chalky blue. And even before we moved in, I noticed that it wasn't really holding up very well. And what I saw in so much of the inspiration that I loved was warmth and wood details and wood accents. So I did some research and I found this product called Retique It Liquid Wood and it essentially turns any hard surface into wood or gives it a wood look rather. Um, so for us, like with these cabinets, I don't know if this is good wood. I couldn't tell you. When you feel like I don't want to strip off paint, I don't know if the wood is going to look good. I think this product might actually become our like go-to for these types of projects. So I wanted to be the guinea pig and try this out because basically you paint this on, it has little fibers of wood in it, I believe, and then you can stain it whatever color you want and then seal it and it is supposed to look like wood. So I really wanted to make these cabinets look like wood again. I feel like that's going to be like really pretty. So I'm not going to do this with the cabinet doors and drawers still on. I want to disassemble them, take them off, take the hardware off so that this gets a really good coat um, and we get into all the corners and things. But we are going to be painting by hand. I'm going to start by removing all of this, the drawers, the cabinet doors. Um, we're going to pick some new hardware and things. This is going to be fun. I'm, I'm so intrigued. Like I have to know if this works. I am glad that it's a little bit of a smaller cabinet project than the kitchen. First step, I'm just going to clean them. Clean all the doors, clean all the drawer fronts so that it has a nice clean surface. But I'm not using anything chemical. I'm just I'm using a, a damp rag. I brought one of Romeo's racks out here and I'm going to hang them like this. This will allow me to paint both sides at the same time. So it cuts my work working time on these, my paint time in half. And to hang them up, I have to use these little cup hooks. I got the larger kind so that they would fit around the more structural hangers. If I'm doing a lot of them, I'll go ahead and drill pilot holes so that this is easier on my fingers. I'm not doing a ton of them, so you just kind of screw two into the bottom of each cabinet. about this I also got the I ordered or it came with it or I ordered it I can't remember but I was very interested to see if the retique it specific brush was any different than a regular brush that you could use it doesn't seem to be I think you can use a regular brush and that's what they say that you can use but it just says professional paintbrush I'm very excited to just see what this even looks like like are you gonna be able to see the wood in it I don't know definitely got a stir Ooh, it's stinky. And it's definitely more runny than paint. Definitely has 
more water. So it kind of smells like paint and um, rotten eggs. Not gonna lie, <laughs> it does not smell great. I'm glad that I'm doing all of this outside, but we still have to paint inside the bathroom. But we can open the window. Like I thought maybe I was like, ooh, am I gonna be able to like see pieces of wood or something? I can't see any of that. I mean, it looks really smooth. I don't see any chunks of anything, you know? Since it's so runny, are we gonna have to do multiple coats? I also think I should pay attention to the way I'm wiping this on too for like wood grain purposes. Maybe I'll like get it on there and then I'll like go back over it and brush it the right way. She dries really fast. That's kind of wild. kind of a, a pull down like that I think it was maybe for laundry we don't use it at all we don't put our laundry I have a lot more laundry <laughs> I have a lot that would be like one outfit it's not practical for us so I'm actually going to just take this kind of like box part off of the cabinet door and move the hinges around so I can just make it a cabinet door that I can put like shelving or like organizational stuff in. I feel like we'll use it so much more. So I need to get this off. I really did not want this to come off. Can you imagine how much glue they've put on this? That took a lot. <laughs> Now, at least I got the big piece off, I can make it look good. I don't know if sanding is gonna work because there's like pieces missing. I have some like eighth inch thin, thin plywood or quarter inch that I could kind of put like a faux back on it. I feel like that will work. Okay, the other tutorials kind of that I saw online, people trying out this stuff, they did do two coats and I kind of do see this, this particular drawer I did heavier and it still kind of looks streaky. I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat because that's what other people had done as well that ended up really liking this product. If this stuff works, it's going to be great, but it really stinks. Oh, it's like, I don't like the smell at all. I am not looking forward to painting this stuff inside my house. It's so stinky. Though I don't think that that smell is gonna stay naturally, we're also gonna put stain on top of it. So I think the stain is gonna kill, the, the smell of the stain is gonna kill the smell of the reticket. I hope, I'd rather smell stain at this point. So I'm just taping off the edges so that I don't get any on the walls and the tile, obviously. We've definitely done the majority of it because this is just really the face frames in this one cabinet. like you know the warmth back into it I don't want to go ahead and paint those with this reticket until we actually stain so let's go stain the cabinet doors because they're all dry and then see how it looks I want to test a couple of stains okay so 
The color Kona by Vera Thane is the stain that we used on the beams in the front room. That was a color match to the existing beams that were in our house. Uh, so I know I needed to complement that color. And also if we do the beams in the bathroom, I'd like them to be the same color. But to get them that dark, I used a gel stain. So I actually, I already had it. So I tested it on the bottom of this drawer. Tell me why this actually looks like wood. <laughs> it actually worked. I used two coats of this retique it and then put the stain on. I don't know if I'm seeing the wood texture that's underneath the paint or a new texture that the, it, it's quite, it's quite amazing. Anyways, I've, I stained that. That looks really good. I was wondering if it was going to be too dark. I actually went and got Kona in just the regular stain, not the gel stain. So it's less thick. And I wanted to try this one because it's water-based in Mission Oak. So this is the Kona gel stain that I already put on there. Next we'll try the Kona non-gel stain, just the regular stain. Still oil-based. Could have had it color matched in a water base, but you never know if you're going to get exactly the same. And this is a really pretty color. This is also the underside of the drawer that we'll never see, so I figured I could test it a little bit. Okay, definitely lighter. Definitely, definitely. This is Mission Oak. It's definitely going to be ashier. It also has a, a poly sealer over the top of it, so we wouldn't have to go back and seal it, but I always usually do. I don't love that. It's too yellow. I don't love that. So we won't do this one. So it's just between the two Konas, whether I want to go super dark or have it be a little bit, a little bit lighter. Okay, I did a bigger sample of it here on the corner. Where I do think it's pretty, my gut's telling me to go darker. You know, the under cabinet doesn't get a lot of direct sunlight. I feel like it's gonna be really dark under there. I just feel like I'm gonna like it more. It's gonna be the same color as the beams. And I think in person, you'll be able to see a lot more of the wood grain. I don't think that a lot of that's gonna come up on camera, but I think I'm gonna like the space more like that. It won't be like just painting something brown. I feel like it'll still look stained. I don't know, let's do one drawer. <laughs> Kind of crazy to me that this looks like wood. It's actually not as dark as I thought it was going to be. I'm glad I went with the dark. What do you think? Like, I feel like that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I need to get some more like rags and things and be really purposeful on how I'm getting the, how I'm wiping it on. I feel like is really important. So I'm gonna get some gloves. Okay, now I've been super skeptical about this product since the beginning because I'm like, how? How does something painted look like wood again without having, I don't know. I was super skeptical, but I was really intrigued to try it. Although it smells bad, I would have a hard time grasping that it wasn't real wood. If I went into someone's house and they had these cabinets on, in their kitchen or the bathroom or whatever, I would automatically think that they were real wood. Look at that. What, what would you think? Look at that. Wait, does that not look like real wood? That looks like real wood. How? How did this work? I love this color too. This is gonna look really good. It's not as dark as I thought it was gonna come out to be. So it's gonna complement the, the tones in the house really well. You guys, it definitely makes up for the fact that it smells so bad when you're doing it. Like what? Like this is the back. Like this is what it looked like before. This is stained. That looks like real wood. Highly recommend doing two coats of the retique. In some of the crevices and things, I didn't quite get two coats. And since I'm using a dark finish, it doesn't really matter. But definitely if you're going lighter, I would definitely, and you're covering a dark pink color like I was, definitely do two coats. Romeo's gonna be so proud. I'm so impressed. 
Also, please ignore my gloves. I just really don't want to get this on me and I ran out of my disposable ones. So we're going with it. send a picture of this to almost every single person I know because I don't understand how it worked I don't I'm literally mind blown I'm I'm very excited by it it's 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 wonderful but I'm still like having trouble like understanding how now that we have such a pretty kind of wood tone on those cabinets now I didn't want to just put the bronze original hardware that we had on there nothing else in the bathroom is bronze so i'm taking a trip to the same vintage hardware store that we actually got the hardware for our kitchen from we got a great deal on some really pretty pieces for our kitchen but they needed a lot of work so i i had to clean them really well and i i love them so i'm headed back to the same place to see if they have any hardware that'll look really good in the bathroom Guys, okay, so the thing about digging for hardware, especially when it's like reclaimed and, and salvaged from homes that have been torn down or, you know, they're just, it's recycled hardware, you have to dig and you have to find the pieces that you want. And most often it's somewhat organized, but sometimes, you know, a knob will get put into another bin. So it's kind of a scavenger hunt. We were, I was looking at two different ones, but they definitely could, you could tell that they were newer in the last, you know, several like decades or so. Then she goes, okay, I don't know if this will be out of your price range, but I do have enough of these. And I was like, <laughs> always show me. These are vintage. These are very old. They are forged brass. Look at that. <gasps> the detail, you know, when I was looking at the other ones, I had found a few back plates that were for a different handle or a different knob and they weren't for those but I was like I really like the idea of a back plate because it makes it overall more substantial and this is just such more of a unique look like when she showed me these I couldn't look at the other ones and be like oh those look like super quality and old you know like these just looked so incredible it almost it looks like an acorn flower if you guys know what she didn't quite know like what era this could be from if you guys have any like you know history you know like like knowledge at least let me know if you know what kind of era this could be from i love these found all 11 with all the back plates they are solid brass so i could um shine them up i don't tend to like things that are overly shiny and i think those are going to look really good with like our brushed brass look they're not going to be super intense they're a little softer I'm so excited to see them on the new color of the stain. Okay, I did the same stain technique to the face frames of the cabinets, what's built in, and it did cut the smell a lot, <laughs> which is good. <sighs> Finally, we get to see what it all looks together and install our new hardware. I'm really excited. So, I'm just gonna put everything back together. Oh my God, it actually looks like real wood. It's, it's, it's wild to me.
Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow, such an upgrade, just different, you know, like not expected and not something super new. From the chalky blue that was just highlighting the blue tiles instead of letting them just be character on their own to now a faux wood look. I really was skeptical. I really didn't know that this was going to be possible. This product is kind of <laughs> incredible. Uh, the smell is finally started to dissipate. And I also am very much going to do it on the beams. I already have one coat of the Retique it on the beams. So the next episode will be the final episode and we're putting on all of the finishing touches. We're doing the beams, we're painting the walls, we're changing out the fixtures and things. To give you a sneak peek, this is going to be our new faucet. Tie in the ceramic, brushed brass, I have a lot of fun things and of course decorating and further transforming this space. So I will see you guys again on Sunday for the final episode. Comment down below if you would definitely try out this method of making something look wood. Crazy. <laughs> Bye guys. What do you think? Looks good. Does it look anything like it did before? Mm -mm. No, right? Like a completely new cabinet. Mm -hmm. Does it look like wood? Yeah. If Which, you didn't tell me that it was the other. You would have thought it was wood. Yeah. That's not. wild. I still don't know how it worked, but it worked.